I see. Uh, I just seen a video by what is name Italian linguist Campariello, and some things I do agree on. Some things I do not agree on. Some other things. First of all, pronunciation is important. I. I uh, think that many people overestimate the importance of perfect, as let's call it in a musical way, perfect pitch, perfect pronunciation. Some other people, and say in a larger number, underestimate it. Um, perfection is not of this word. Uh, that means that you uh, you're not a speaker you're exposed to different accents uh, even in a single even if you learn American English unless you watch only things by speakers you will be exposed to different accents different voices um, different uh, ways of speaking everybody has their own um, way of speaking uh, in the um, inside the general accent uh, languages are not fixed 100% second thing is that however much you try to get rid of your accent which can be also a mix of your the language you already know your native language and the accent the accent of the language you acquired because for example i have an italian accent i have a uh, somehow english american accent and i have a greek accent the moment i move to another language i'm trying to very very slowly and that's another uh, uh, matter for another video acquire some Turkish that I studied uh, 35 years ago for a while a little while you have all this in your mind um, all this uh, software so to speak Italian software American software that has inside some under softwares because even when I speak Italian, I can have kind of a neutral accent with slight American uh, Roman accent, um, a thicker more American Roman accent, which inside has inside it always some of uh, um, some of the Italian. I give you an example. This is a pedal. So you have the reverb and mix you mixed the sound of the reverb with the we call the dry sound signal. That means the sound of the guitar without the reverb. Very strange. Here you have the reverb effect applied to all of the signal, and then you have some signal that is not um this is called dry so we have kind of dry it's very complicated i see a company a lot of thing riding and um the it that's very confusing when you're still learning a language you don't have a grasp sometimes of the relations with writing and spelling and unless you use a phonetical alphabet that I know but only for the sounds that I <coughs> use in the languages I uh, speak uh, I wouldn't uh, have this approach of writing uh, the, the writing approach is uh, very very um, linked to the fact that they have uh, links uh, with Babel, I talk and Rosetta Stone, whatever other method, 
and is very very this method are based on also the visual uh, writing thing I would because uh, most people are not ready to get rid of their writing and uh, move to a learning move on and learn the language without the visual approach and when I say a visual approach it uh, doesn't mean this is a guitar and you actually see a guitar guitar is a, a word that is common in most languages these are let's use psalidia these are psalidia psalidia now you know that psalidia in Greek is this I don't need tell you that these are scissors if you know English you already know English if you want to learn a language focus on the language you're learning okay uh, many many methods speak uh, they speak about the language no if you want to use your native language speak about how to go about learning a foreign language and you have to do that in a like I'm doing this in English so I would say no don't use don't write anything you don't need to know how to write guitar mus uh, music for guitar most of people get the accent or the music they are playing just listening to this or even more if you're able not to write it and remember it without writing because if you know you're not writing it you know you're not getting a record of what you're hearing and the only record will be in your mind if you get my gist in my draft huh? so I would say not single sentences at the beginning kitara 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 then uh, you will add the two or three sentences afti ne mia kitara afti ine mia kitara afti afto ine ena pedali Pedali, that's the I don't remember. Pedali, pedali, after pedali, after in a pedali, 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 after in a pedali, after in a pedali, pedali, after in a psalidia. Ena pedali, dio pedalia, pedalia. So you know that psalidia is plural, and I, I haven't told you that. Uh, but since pedali, pedali, psalidia in most languages is plural, forbici, scissors, psalidia. Ego, peso, mia chitarra. Uh, that means that something you shouldn't do but you get the gist I peso mia chitarra afti chitarra in a mavri afto in a mavro afto in a mavro mavro chroma to chroma in a mavro Chromatic chroma, chroma in a mavro. Ego peso afti tingitara. Ego i chitarra echi. Mia dio tria. Tres rispendi, pende, exi, hordes, i chitarra, echi, exi.
μία, δύο, τρία, τέσσερα, τέσσερις, πέντε, έξι, χορδές, χορδές. Η κιθάρα έχει πέντε χορδές. Χορδές. I'm speaking English with English, which uh, Greek words. Naturally, I don't have a 100% Greek accent. So, take my word for it. But anyway, uh, so to get the accent, you get the accent uh, when you learn words. Okay? It's not true that children listen to whole sentences. That's not really true. Children listen to uh, a lot of spoken language and they get the sounds and the musicality. But they learn the language through, at the beginning, single words and then very easy sentences. Okay? So I'd say, starting from single words, guitarra, guitarra, ego, peso, tin guitarra. Now you know that tin <coughs> must be something. Ego, peso, ti, tin guitarra. Ti pesis, ego, peso, tin guitarra. After in, I'm speaking Greek now. Okay, this is the method I think is very um, effective, okay? But do not focus, I disagree with Campario, do not focus on the sound regardless of the meaning. They go hand in hand. When you learn your first words, you learn the sounds. And when you learn the first sentences, you learn what he calls, I call musicality rather than intonation. I, as he said, more like musicality, because intonation many times is linked um, to the function. For example, are you crazy? Are you crazy? Uh, you are crazy. You are crazy! It means that you have hundreds of ways of pronouncing the same thing. And there's no uh, one right way. I go into the park. Are you going to the park? You're going to the park. The man depends on... There are not clear-cut rules. Sometimes this international thing are... overarch, over embrace different languages. Uh, most likely. Most likely languages that don't have a way to show uh, a question, they have an intonation tag that's similar che... Oh, ma do cazzo vai? Questo diavolo pass. They have a way of showing that it's a sentence. This is similar in Italian and in Greek and it's similar in English where there's no... When you don't show the sen that is a sentence, you are crazy. You crazy? And this way, uh, like this, you don't have are you crazy? You crazy. You crazy. Means you are crazy. Are you crazy? You take off the R. You crazy? Semato. The same thing. So, you'll never be like a native speaker. You'll never be. You never, you are never perfect. Nobody's perfect. I play the guitar, I will improve. But if I start with, with having my mind, I need to be perfect. I will be so disappointed. And the task will be so overwhelming that I say, oh, I'll never be perfect. And then I don't even try. I would say I will be very good, as good as I can. You point, you, sorry, you have to study and you un learn from native speakers. 
But <coughs> to sneeze. Your reference will be not will be not this very won't be native speakers, but will be other people who try to learn the language. You will be compared to other people who are learning the language. And I tell you something else. Some people study languages and the like. They like to have their egos um, uh, caressed. What is stroke? I mean, they do that for their ego. And their absurd point is, the absurd thing is that the moment you are like a native speaker, nobody will understand that you're a foreigner. And nobody will play, will pay, pay, yeah, pay you compliments. That's the, the funny thing. If you do something, remember this, remember this. Um, sometimes people appreciate the effort and they will pay this, you the same compliments they would pay you if you are very much better. Second thing, people don't know how long you've been studying or you've been practicing or you've been learning better said and absorb, absorbing the language. If you want to play and every time I want to <clears throat> compliment anybody, somebody on their level, I say, how long have you been living in Italy? Okay, how long have you studied Italian? How much time to the, did you, have you devoted to the language? And I say, okay, so for the time you've been learning the language, or for the time you've been, for the time you've devoted to the language, you're good. But I've been teaching and learning for years, so I have points of reference. Um, so I I don't agree at all with somebody. I mean I agree on some things. The first thing I agree with um, regarding things that uh, Camparello said. Uh, the things that he said uh, that is very important to uh, have it to have in your mind the fact that accent is good is accent is good not to have a thick accent is a good thing that you can achieve a native speaker intonation and accent from the very beginning that's not attainable what is attainable is to have to acquire uh, the basic sounds of the language so the person can understand what you're saying because all the sounds are perfectly distinguishable okay a tinge of intonation we, we're not speaking about everything is black everything is white there's a gray area you have to work on the gray area you would never be 100% black and 100% white okay the problem is people have been learning other languages or have learned other languages in the past are, are in pole position. Remember, the more languages you get, the more it is easy to understand to get another one. But the more you have in your mind, the less is um, possible to know all of them very well. So I, uh, I attach an amount of importance to each language. Two first and foremost languages for me are Italian and English. Third is Greek. And now I'm trying to learn some Turkish. I'm not in a rush. Uh, I'm just listening and watching videos. Okay? I will never be affluent speaker of Turkish I know but maybe in one year's time I can understand the language at least one year if not more when it's spoken slowly 
when it's simple language written and you can I can say simple things and I can understand simple things but in a very natural way okay so we'll able to say to have the, 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 the language of our two one and a half year old toddler or two year old uh, in Turkish speaker But my goal is not speaking the language fluently, okay? Sometimes I, I play harmonica and I can play tunes and I take it, took it so slowly and sometimes I do fun, things that are quite pleasant. But I will never be an accomplished harmonica player because I have been devoting so much time and that's not my important goal. So uh, when you have languages, uh, most of the times you have some languages that you really live. And these are Italian and English for me. Because English is the language I sing. In. I sing in English for the most part. I watch a lot of videos in English and it's very, as you see, it's very, <coughs> it's normal to me. But remember, do not try to speak a language immediately. Take it easy. You don't try to listen and play. I do. You, uh, you know, in your stride. You listen. I listen to all these videos in Turkish. I forgot. I watched the other day. Oh, Nasilsenis. Nasilsenis. Merhaba. And I forgot other things. Forgot and remember. Forgot and remember. You watch again and again and again. And the first, first thing is I close my eyes. I don't want to even to see. To read it no I don't want to read it writing influences your mind you see an E and you tend to pronounce a e, like in Italian or in English like in bed um, Italia Italia da Tesciculer uh, it, it pronounced uh, in a different way I can tell I, I cannot reproduce but I can tell that is different. So open your ears and listen, listen, listen like it's music. Forget your language. Or, or you said e, you say e, you say u, u, u. It's like reproducing a sound. The moment you're speaking, okay, I'm speaking. Wham! Your native accent comes up again. You're in the process of speaking. So you have access um, to that sort of... When you are in the process of reproducing sounds like carta, if you, if you know, for example, the sound in English, spaghetti. Oh, spaghetti, spaghetti. If you forget the spaghetti and you say in other words that it doesn't have another English counterpart, Maglietta, maglietta, okay? You listen to the sound. Sometimes you have to forget the meaning. The, the first thing is focus on the sound. Kala, 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 kala. Peso, kala, peso. Yeah, then best we're gonna. Okay, then best we're gonna. Tragudao. If you are alone and blue. No one to tell your troubles to. 
Okay, I think that I give you some thought, some thought for thinking. No, some. Uh, something to think about you remember you must remember you are bound to forget sometimes I forget English words sometimes I forget very simple English words mainly when you are tired and the more you try to remember the word the more it doesn't come to you if you let it go okay they pop up immediately so that's the way it works. Goodbye.